one of the problems with using videos in your classroom is that you sometimes have to switch between different types of software. One of the greatest things about Active Inspire is that, that you can play a video and you can actually toggle right into full screen. And then exit full screen and have some other information on the page. This way students can take notes or you can have a question so that you can keep referring to this as the video is playing. Hello and welcome to Spring Bar Media's Active Tips. I'm Amanda Urbanzik, and today we're going to take a look at how you can use videos in Active Inspire. There's a couple different ways to include a video on your page. One would be to go to Insert and embed the HTML from the video. I'm going to go over to and I'm going to find that content that I would like to embed. And I copied it. I'm going back in here. I'm going to paste it. So as long as I have internet access and YouTube's not blocked, this movie will play. In working with movies, there's a couple tricks. Because I keep, when I click on it, it keeps playing. I can't move this movie around. Sometimes you would think that flipping into design mode would help, but it doesn't help with movies. So to grab this movie, I'm actually going to open my browser, so I'm going to go to the object browser. And there it is where it says Media 2. And as soon as I click on it in the object browser, I can now see the marquee handles pop up. And now I can move this around. Resizing the marquee handles here doesn't do anything, because I'd actually have to resize that HTML. So if I do another insert, the width and height right here are set by the HTML, so you could change them right in the code and then push OK, and it would embed it at that size. You can also change the properties for your movie in the property browser. So I'm going to go into property browser, I'm going to go down to multimedia. This is where you can set it so the video auto plays when you turn to that page. You can also set it up so that it would loop or that it would hide the controls along the bottom. There's also a panel down here for force overlay. So if I go to false, now I can put some other things on the page that would kind of cover over this movie. The problem is with HTML, it's kind of automatically set up to be a force overlay. So any shapes or images that you're going to add are automatically going to go behind this. There's a solution to this as well. So what we're going to do is actually go to insert, but this time instead of choosing HTML, we're going to choose media. Now, this technique here only works with FLV or flash video. Other videos are going to actually stay in that top layer and not allow anything else to go over them. But I'd like to thank some people on the Planet forums who figured out that if you're using a flash video, you can actually layer things on top. So here I have my video, um, and I'm going to go to the object browser and I'm going to click on it so that I can bring up those marquee handles, and I'm going to turn off the force auto. I'm also going to bring up the controls so now I can see more information about it. I'm going to take my force overlay and turn it to false. So now I could actually select a shape. and put some information right over this. So when I insert media, I can actually change the size of it. So as I click on it in the object browser and I get those marquee handles up, I can resize it. You do want to be cautious to, not, to make sure that you don't make it too big that it gets blurry. It depends on the resolution of your video to begin with. But you can see here now I can add um, notes or comments right on top of the movie. So once again, that works with any kind of flash video. Thanks so much for watching today's active tip. Check out our website for more information.